Hi guys, what's up? I'm Charlie. I'm a voter in Utah, and I love Donald Trump. As crazy as that sounds today, I originally supported John Kasich, but I was fine with Trump. Um, he was a successful billionaire who said it like it was, but more than anything, his unique perspectives as a businessman allowed him to see... F f sorry, my camera just went low. Um, allowed him to see flaws that politicians couldn't, and I bought it. Um, he was going to optimize America like you do to a business. He was going to work out cheeky trade deals with China. He was going to finesse China like smart businessmen do. Um, and all this crap he used to sell us on his political get-rich-quick scheme. So I followed him on social media. And after he got elected and appointed and he still kept saying, we're going to make America first, we're going to put America on top, we're going to freaking do all this stuff. It's like, dude, okay, you're president now. Like... You should probably go and fix healthcare and go and fix these trade deals that apparently are so bad. So it really was a get rich quick scheme. And then you realize, oh, this dude sold the get rich quick scheme. Trump University was a get rich quick scheme. So about six months in, I realized, okay, actually, let's cut back. Um, I started looking into his business past because it's like, that's why I trusted him because he was successful. He was a successful businessman. And Oh my goodness, this dude inherited so much daddy money, like boatloads of daddy money. And then he ran scams with it. And then he bankrupted the company three times for over $6 billion of investor money. Like $6 billion in the private sector is so much money. So um, he has sketchy business deals with Chinese and Russian banks. He's self-proclaimed king of debt, and get this, okay, of 13 retail businesses he tried, of 13, not a single one of them was profitable. Like, as a retail business owner, I can tell you, that takes skill. To have that amount of capital, you don't get to try 13 times. You learn from your mistakes, you pick a good industry, you optimize different. He fucked up 13 for 13. So, uh, yeah, six months into the presidency, I realized, okay, I get it. I get why we weren't supposed to vote for Trump. Ah, uh, because every single solid appointee quickly resigned or was fired, and not only resigned, they all start whistleblowing. Like, yo, this dude is, is dumb dumb. Like, guys like John Bolton, Rex Tillerson, John Kelly, freaking James Mattis, all trustworthy people saying the exact same thing, that this guy is the biggest idiot. I have ever worked with that he's like a fifth grader and this would be all fun and games except this is the guy we rely on to solve our problems so no wonder we have more problems than literally every other first world nation in the world um he never listened to the experts on anything he pulled out of the paris climate accord he got us in a trade war like dude he cut tax rates for corporations in a booming economy when they don't need it when us small businesses need it he can't even say the words Black Lives Matter. He sucks up to dictators. He lied about the virus to help the stock market. Now, three times as many people have died from the virus as have died in Vietnam. Three times as many Americans. And no one still seems to care. And this doesn't even account for the political war zone he turned our country into. And now we can't get anything done. So, now, yeah, world leaders like Macron, Trudeau, and Boris Johnson all literally were caught on camera laughing at Trump. These guys are good, trustworthy guys. And when they got asked about it, they are like, yeah, yeah, we were laughing at Trump. That guy's an idiot. The world is laughing at us. One in 2,000 Americans have died of the virus. It's still, Trump says it will magically go away. Like, this dude thinks problems go away. He trusts magic over data modeling. Like, no wonder all of his businesses failed. This dude is grossly incompetent and i can't believe we didn't see that if you voted for trump i get it it's fine we all got schemed we all got played it's chill because we can fix it now because if, if you still support donald trump and if you're not going to vote for joe biden in 2020 like like what are you doing like joe B donald trump is a great a idiot he is dumber than you and i and i'm going to be voting strictly democrat because republicans haven't made a fact-based decision in literally years.